Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I will be solving a very nice problem involving uh, infinite geometric sequence. So we have uh, the sum of an infinite geometric sequence is A and the sum of the squares of its terms is B. And we need to find the first term and the common ratio of the sequence. Okay, so how can we do that? Um, I will first uh, write a sum of an infinite geometric sequence. So that will be ace of 1 plus ace of 1 times uh, r plus ace of 1 times r squared and so on and it goes to infinity and that will be equal to a okay and now we have the sum of the squares of its terms is b so that will be ace of 1 squared plus ace of 1 squared times r squared plus ace of 1 squared times r to the fourth power and so on and it also goes to infinity and uh, this sum is equal to b okay and we need to find the first term that's just ace of 1 and uh, the common uh, ratio that's r of course, ace of 1 and r, uh, we need to find them in terms of uh, a and b. Okay. So now I will use a, a formula for infinite geometric sequence. So I will get that a is equal to ace of 1 divided by 1 minus common ratio so that will be 1 minus r okay and I will do the same thing for uh, b and I will get b is equal to uh, the first term so that's ace of 1 squared divided by 1 minus common ratio in this case the common ratio is actually r squared so I will have 1 minus r squared okay now I can write b as ace of 1 divided by 1 minus r times ace of 1 divided by 1 plus r okay uh, that's because uh, we have 1 minus r squared that's difference of squares so I just separated and now I have that uh, this ace of 1 divided by 1 minus r is actually equal to a okay so I have that uh, B is equal to a times ace of 1 divided by 1 plus R okay and I can also uh, express ace of 1 in terms of a so I have ace of 1 is equal to a times 1 minus r. Okay. That will be second expression. So now I can write b is equal to a times and now ace of 1 is equal to a times 1 minus r. 
OK divided by 1 plus R. So that's equal to A squared times 1 minus R divided by 1 plus R. OK. And now from here I can easily find uh, R. So we have B times 1 plus R is equal to A squared times 1 minus R. OK. So on the left hand side I have B plus B times R is equal to A squared minus A squared times R. OK. And now I will move uh, this A squared times R on the left plus B R is equal to a squared minus b. Okay. So now I have r times a squared plus b is equal to a squared minus b. Okay. And finally I get r is equal to a squared minus b divided by a squared plus b. OK, so this is the expression for a common ratio in terms of a and b. And now I need to find the expression for a sub 1. OK. So, uh, I said that a sub 1 is equal to a times uh, 1 minus r, so I will use that. a sub 1 is equal to a times 1 minus r. Okay. So, I have a sub 1 is equal to a times 1 minus and now I will just put uh, this expression for r so 1 minus a squared minus b divided by a squared plus b okay so a of 1 is equal to a times and now this will just be a squared plus b minus a squared plus b okay divided by a squared plus b okay so uh, now I can just cancel this and I get a of 1 is equal to so uh, now I will have 2 times a times b divided by a squared plus b and that will be the expression for a of 1 in terms of a and b. OK. And this is the expression for uh, r or the common ratio. So that's basically it for this problem. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope everything was uh, readable and understandable. Of course, like, share, subscribe, comment and everything else and I will see you in the next one.